Welcome to Desktop Feasibility Solutions. This is a first ever online analytical tool. Helps you to assess the project viability of your project, which has been brought to you by Lysis for us using its credible quarterly collected data and expertise, which has accumulated over the last 20 years of the work in the area of residential market. And this solution is available to you for 60 cities in India. There are six modules through which the whole study takes place. The first module here helps you to define your property, where you define your study names, and define the property address. And the second module helps you know the catchment dynamics. And then you discover the price, which is also a hedonic model, helps you know what should be the price of the property depending upon neighborhood profile and property attributes. Then the fourth module helps you know the product mix. And the fifth is where you know the market share your project can achieve depending upon project size as well as the top performing projects within the price band of your property. And the sixth step helps you know the financial implications of the recommendations with the sensitivity analysis. And here, assuming you want to analyze a property in Bandra West, you can go to Bandra West go to a specific site of your property assuming your site is here this one is your property or anywhere in this like maybe this particular site click on that so it defines the catchment define the name of your property or your studies maybe Bandra West is the name of this and then you can probably mention the sellable area your sellable area is assuming three lakh square feet of your property you can directly put the apply button to move on to the next stage. Assuming you do not know the sellable area, here you can calculate the. So if you know the plot area, base FSI, premium FSI, additional FSI, fungible premium, and the loading, it will calculate the area. Since I already put in the sellable area, I need not to put the overall calculations. And when you apply, it takes you to the next slides. In next slides, what you see is the catchment dynamics. So it shows the trends, quarterly trends of the sellable area prices. So this is my prevailing sellable area prices within the catchment is 32,111, which is as updated as of 2017-80. Similarly, you can see the prices at the carpet area, months inventory, movements, the prevailing moving average months inventory we have mentioned is like 49 months. You got months in sales velocity is moving average, sales in terms of unit, in terms of square feet, unsold stocks, and unsold stock in the square feet. The whole trends of the quarterly trends you see. And this is my annual trends, which talks about annual sales in the last five years. So from 120, the sales during 2017 has grown to 710 in terms of square feet, unsold stocks in both in the square feet and units, sales velocities, months inventory and average uh, price per square feet. Apart from that, since within the catchment we have different price points, how much of distributions of sales and unsold stock across different price points you can see here. So this is as per annual sales in unit. If you put on the in regards to unsold unit, this is how the supply which is distributed across different different price point you move on to discover the price of the property now here there's a distribution of the property prices and this is my average prices but on the location and your product features the prices will vary so here is a hedonic model which is based on the urban price setting model so based on the prod property input so here since my property is here Assuming surroundings are highly affluent or composite of high end neighborhood profile and then you say the surrounding views are good and the product features if assuming it's an excellent property. So based on that and then you define your position data. So you mentioned that and then also if the builder is premium and non premium assuming it's a local premium or not really branded nationally known developer and when you submit it gives you the per square feet rate of the property. So based on the attributes of the neighborhood profile, which is highly affluent surrounding, which is good and excellent product. So the price of your property stands on the sellable area is 44,189. You can modify, go back, assuming you think about, you want to alter and instead of excellent, it is a good product and it is 
good of four and position timeline instead of 2022 what if you would have been in 2019 and what if so if you submit the price alters and changes accordingly so based on that the whole analytics really goes in because i've reduced the timeline the property prices of so the same kind of a quality of product has increased so this is my selling prices of the property then you move on to assess the product mix so here the nine level assessment takes place so the analysis grinds the data at nine level and which is at the city level at the catchment level city level in the similar kind of a price point in the similar kind of ed similarly at the catchment level at the similar price points and similar level of ed as well as the new supply and then it gives you the suggestions so within the catchment and with respect to the efficient performing project it suggest, gives you suggestion that for your project you can make 19% of 1.5 bhk 2.5 and, and, and 3 bhks close to 24% and then 57% should be 2.5 and, and 3 bhks so this is how the distribution of property comes is and in the next graph you can see the distributions of sizes of this so 1 bhks has two one and a half two bhk has their two suggestion thousand to twelve hundred and twelve hundred to thirteen hundred with their distributions in percentage similarly you get two and a half three bhk's thirty six percent of fifteen hundred to seventeen fifty and twenty one percent is two thousand to two thousand two hundred and fifty and then you got three thousand to three thousand two hundred and fifty which is nineteen percent three and a half and four bhks apartment so here the suggestions of product mix has come which is based on the performing projects in the market where you have got good performing product as well as lesser number of inventory then you move on to see the what kind of market share you can achieve so what it does it it analyzes the top performing projects of uh, within the catchment and top performing project within the price band in anywhere in the cities and and based on that it does the adjudication so what kind of market share any project has so far achieved so what it does it calculates the top five performing projects within the catchment first and takes an average of their annual sales which can be which has been achieved so far and the average of these five five projects uh, which is falling with a similar size of a project and of similar price band is considered as a velocity your project can also be able to achieve so this is how the analysis of market share comes in based on that when you move you can see the recommendations so the sellable price which has been adjudicated for your property was 48,000 uh, and the sales velocity 1.46 months which translate into 70 months of timeline time gestation so and this is my recommended product mix so the financials give assessment that this was a three lakh square foot of property total revenue was 16.6 .6 billion rupees total land cost land cost also our regression table based on the selling prices it calculates the or the sellable area the land prices is 14,245 should be construction cost could should be around 4,400 rupees and these assumptions can be changed by you which will have its implications on the financials too so this is uh, algorithm based but one can alter and change what very important thing can be seen further is that you go down so this is my selling price which has been adjudicated for the quality of project which has been defined in this study is 48,000 but what it suggests that that at 9% discount it gives you highest NPV so you can do a sensitivity analysis by reducing the prices by 9% and if I click the financials it shows you your NPV from 3.8 has increased to 4 so what it suggests instead of launching at 48,000 launch at 43,000 so which will have a much better financial for your project so you can see the sensitivity of NPV IRR what price point so if you increase or reduce so in terms of return of equities if you increase 3% it will give you highest so this kind of analysis can be done through the so this is my DFS which helps to know what is the performing projects product in the market what price you should launch the project and what is financial implication as a builder 
as a banking and finance company you can revalidate information submitted to you by the developer and this is a product bought brought to you by lizus for us and anyone can subscribe for one time usage to monthly subscription or yearly subscriptions log on to the websites and have a look at the entire detail about the project thank you so much